my name is Lily Snodgrass. I'm from Austin, Texas, and I just got sent the women's cruise jacket from Viking Cycles, and I thought I would do a great review of such a good jacket. So this is by far the best leather jacket I have at all. It's a sturdy 100% leather um, with a 100% polyester lining, and it's great because it has the front zipper on the side, so it gives you an extra bit of padding or insulation when you ride and it has great buttons to button down the entire collar if you need to. It's really sturdy, it's kind of hard to button when I'm not prepared. Or you can unbutton it and zip this all the way up so that your throat is covered, which is very nice, especially if you ride a sport bike and you lean over, then your chest is protected, or just in general, like when I get cold, I always have wind coming down my jacket because I am not well endowed. And I guess that's a good segment to sizing. I got a medium, so yeah. 5'10", 135 pounds, and I'm, I guess, a little bit leaner, tall, but I don't have a large bust, which makes an interesting fit for the jacket. I know a lot of other people that have reviewed this jacket talk about the cinching at the waist and how it provides a feminine figure, but I don't necessarily like it for that reason. I don't think that it's a stylistic, beautiful choice. I think that with that ruching, it gives a lot more space in the bust and if you're well endowed that's wonderful i'm like a 34b so for me it's a little bit big but i'm also not planning to walk around with this like zipped up the entire way all the time so when i'll be walking around i'll probably like have it halfway zipped or whatever and it fits great the thing about the ruching though i do love is that when i have the jacket zipped up fully it provides a good like actual fit for my body so that when I lean over, it stays against my stomach. It doesn't billow out like a gigantic dude's or basic motorcycle jacket, which is really nice for me. And it provides like a sense of security. It's like a security blanket when you're swallowed as a baby. Um, another thing is they have these great zippers on the arm so that you can put your gloves inside the sleeve and then zip it to make sure it fits securely so that you don't get wind coming up your sleeves. Um, they do have a ton of pockets in this jacket. There are two on the front that are zippered and kind of small, but they're good for just storing anything. There's also this little hook on the inside of the left jacket pocket where you can hook your keys or anything necessary. Just make sure you don't lose it because I know people have lost keys all the time. And on the inside, there are well-noted pockets. They have like little, like a, an icon for a cell phone. So you can put your cell phone in here or in the outer pocket. And they've got space for sunglasses. I'm not sure exactly which one was where. You could do whatever you wanted. Um, and they're like nicely lined with 100% polyester, just like the rest of the inside of the jacket where it's puffed. And going up all around the neckline of the jacket are these little segments where you can put your headphones so that you can have your music going while you ride, or you can talk on the phone, or just have them for when you get off your bike and you wanna listen to your music. The thing about the pockets though, well, so that's the right side, and then the left side they have actually space for a knife and a pen holder, so you need to just, you know, bring out your dagger when you go riding on a bike, or just one pen, that's it. And they have a larger pocket a little bit farther in, but the thing about the pockets is that you have to basically take the jacket like off of your arm to get into it. There's no way to have it zipped up and then to just reach inside. It's or like, I guess here. So it just seems like they're kind of far back because they have the space for your sunglasses or the knife and pen holder. So if I have it zipped all the way up halfway, it's really hard to get into the pockets. Those like more interior pockets that they have. So that's the only kind of downside. Um, personally, I don't love the stylistic aspect of the ruching, but as I mentioned before, it's really nice for the fit. And I know that a lot of women do really care about the, the form of keeping that, the feminine waist with it. And I think this little braided detail adds a lot to that. Um, overall, the medium is, it's so far a really great fit for me. And I really like this jacket because it provides a really good amount of insulation while I ride. And you can also still fit like a sweater underneath it. It's not skin tight you can move in it and as someone mentioned previously in another video it's long enough like the sleeves are actually long and in the back of the jacket it actually goes down so that it covers the waistband which is something that really bothers me when I ride when you lean over that the jacket comes up so this protects that a lot and it's really nice and it's like a perfect length the collar works really well and if you zip up the collar 
all the way to the top, you can actually pop the back of this. And since it's a very sturdy leather, it's like another added insulation. But overall, I really do love the Women's Cruise Jacket by Viking Cycle. You can look them up on Google or on Instagram and uh, give them a like and test out this jacket.